It's the Line Makers on Sporting News, presented by Jack Daniels. Hey everybody, let's kick off our second free preview week here on Sporting News. Brian Blessing with Kenny White from the South Point Casino in Las Vegas. Thursday night football, Chicago at Green Bay. This is a game open five and a half, 49 and a half. And all of a sudden now, Kenny, we're seeing money on the Packers and the totals going up six and 51. Well, I think the line was adjusted down, Brian, for the first game of the year. The Packers were completely outplayed by the 49ers and the Bears look great against the Colts. So there's your adjustment. Let me just talk about the overreaction that may or may not be out there based on what you saw last week. But I don't care who you are, even the Packers, you don't want to start 0-2 if they lose to the Bears, a division foe. In reality, they're three games behind them because the Bears would have the tiebreaker too. Yeah, exactly. And looking at what's happened in the NFL, 0-2 teams only make the playoffs 13% of the time. However, when you look at all those 0-2 teams, a majority of them were supposed to go 0-2. The teams that actually had a shot to make the playoffs that went 0-2 in the last 10 years made the playoffs 33% of the time. So it's still not a great number. So the Packers do not want to be 0-2. Before we get to the specifics of these two teams and the matchups that uh, will lie within, there are significant trends in this head-to-head -head series. They're betting the over, but it's actually an under series. It's a definitely an under series. These two teams definitely play great defense, or the Bears do. Packers have been learning to play better defense. Eight and one to the under. When these two get together, it's because it's a division game. They play twice a year. They know so much about each other. Right out of the gate, Bears fans had to be going, really? Here we go again. Cutler throws a pick for a touchdown. Settled down, had a great game. But I'll tell you, that's a nice one-two punch for Tay and Bush. It sure is. Their running game is going to be very solid all year long. And you know what? If Cutler goes down this year, Brian, Jason yeah. Campbell is there to fill in. That's a great pickup, certainly. But I think the other thing, he targeted Marshall all day long. He's got to spread it around a little bit. He will, but he loves to throw to Marshall. They're wide receivers. And even Cutler himself has thrown out a challenge to the Packers that they're going to be more physical than their defensive backs. Now that he has Marshall and Jeffries, they got some big wide receivers on the Bears. Hey, we had a lot of great information for you last week. You did say, look, you always look to take the better defense when you get the points. And the Niners not only win the game, they dominated the pack. That was a little surprising. It was surprising because Green Bay was so strong last year. But the one thing I've looked at, Green Bay being out yardage 10 of their last 13 games, losing to the Giants in the playoffs, People are going to take a look, or other coaches and scouts and teams, how did the Giants do it? Well, San Francisco copied that game plan to a T. And, of course, the Packers really don't run the ball that much. Benson uh, struggled. But one thing I thought in that game last week, he was targeting Cobb, he was targeting Jones. They took Jennings away from him. They didn't stretch the field. Jennings was, it was lost for two and a half quarters, I think, in the football game. He started with a couple short passes to him, and I don't think... Jennings got another pass until late in the fourth. Uh, what do you think of the number? Uh, what do we see as the week progresses? Uh, does it go up towards seven? Does it continue to steam? Well, there still has to be a lot of faith in Green Bay. I think it does go up because of their record at home. ATS, they're 17 and nine in the last three plus seasons at home. They cover in Lambeau. A marquee Thursday night NFL game. It's a huge showdown, big handle contest here in Las Vegas. It's the Packers, a six-point favorite at home to the Bears. Total on the game is 51. 